Disenchanted with today's two liter thin walled soda bottles exploding at 120 PSI? Hearing protection is the most important safety measure for water rocketry. Solution, Strato Rocket Mini with 1.5 liter thick walled soda bottle. Advance to the topic of interest via the menu in the description below. Strato Rocket Mini ensures stable straight flights and reliable chute deployment. One point five liter thick walled bottle weighs forty eight grams versus recent two liter thin walled bottle weighs forty one grams. Our one point five liter soda bottle repeatedly handles up to one hundred forty five psi safely without exploding. Strato Rocket Mini achieves greater than three hundred fifty feet altitude when pressurized to one hundred forty five psi. Strato Rocket Mini is a complete water rocket kit, including recovery system. Strato Rocket Mini launches with or without the Strato Rail. Strato Rocket Mini has a compartment for an altimeter. Strato Rocket Mini has enough space inside for the parachute plus a paratrooper. Strato Rocket Mini kit includes bottle, cap, fins, washer, nose cone, sleeve, fairing, bracket, chute, nozzle, o-ring, zip tie, tether, bead. Our 1.5 liter bottle has older pre-2012 PCO 1810 threads and requires a one inch washer. All three bottle thread versions are compatible with all our products. Tall cap, short cap and tethered cap. Place 213 O-ring over 1.5 liter bottle threads below top lip to retain stratofins. Insert 1-inch rubber washer inside Stratofins ring. Use PVC handle to prevent washer from collapsing inside ring. Screw Stratofins onto 1.5 liter bottle until snug. Don't over tighten. Over tightening causes rubber washer to collapse inside of Stratofins ring. Replace 120 PSI safety valve on launcher with 150 PSI valve. Screw on the nozzle and pressurize 120 to 145 PSI to check for leaks. Pressure testing bottle makes installing attachment sleeve easier. Slide sleeve onto 1.5 liter bottle up to the seam. Bottle may need to be pressurized to 40 PSI for easier slide on. Make sure sleeve aligns evenly with seam all the way around the bottle. Drill a tiny hole one half inch from the bottom edge of the strato cone. Tie a loop on one end of the tether line. Thread the blue bead on the line and loop the line through the bead end loop. Thread the tether line through the strato cone hole from the inside. The bead inside will hold the strato cone from slipping off the tether. Tie a loop on the other end of the tether line. Trim off excess tether line on both ends. Create a lasso on this end and place around the neck of the sleeve. The strato cone will safely descend under chute via the tether line. Drill a one quarter inch hole in the center of a tall bottle cap. Lay out parachute and gather shroud lines without tangles. Carefully place each shroud line in order over the four inch zip tie. Loop the zip tie and pull through the bottle cap hole about 12 inches. Tie a big knot in the middle of all the shroud lines below the cap. Remaining shroud lines above the cap should be about 12 inches long. Place fairing on top of sleeve and place bracket over sleeve threads. Insert shroud lines through the sleeve neck. Screw the cap onto the sleeve threads until snug.
Place shallower bevel side of rail button down over flange nut. Turn screw in less than halfway. Apply a drop of removable thread locker to interior threads. Turn screw all the way in and out to spread thread locker. Lightly tighten screw and wipe off excess thread locker. Rail buttons should spin freely with 1 16th inch play. Wrap rail button guide around 1.5 liter bottle and align with bottom seam. Center paper edge between any two fins and apply tape. Mark bottle according to rail button guide. Sand a one half inch circle below each mark. Wipe off dust. Apply polyurethane adhesive to flange nut. Carefully place rail guides on bottle and align straight. Adhesive must cure for 24 to 48 hours before use. Fill the bottle with less than 200 milliliters of water and mount the rocket onto the launcher. Tightly fold the chute in small folds and wrap the shroud lines around it. Place the chute on top of the rocket. Vertical is okay. Place the strato cone over the chute. If using a tether line, make sure it is hanging freely. Optional, launch with or without adding a payload. Pressurize the rocket to the desired PSI and release. The stratocone should fall off at Apogee deploying the chute. The entire rocket should descend safely under chute. Notice landing speed with chute recovery. Nose diving is not an option. The strato rail enables using more water. Be aware, strato jig without strato fins increases water volume at score mark. Minimize drift under chute with the chute release device. Prevent loss of rocket plus onboard devices to trees with less drift. Set release altitude at 200 feet. Rocket may drop 25 to 75 feet before chute is fully open. Achieve lower altitude chute deployment with the chute release. See video link above for chute release operation. An altimeter can be placed in the fairing compartment. Shave off 5 grams by not using the altimeter mount kit. Tether the altimeter to the bracket or bottleneck. Strata Rocket Mini, a high-flying stable water rocket.